obviously just a couple days away from rematching Fabian. I guess people may have been a little surprised that you got you know this rematch so soon after your, your your first fight. So were you happy with the rematch? Did you care, or did you not even care, or is it just you know another man up? I'll face him again. Uh, I don't really care too much. Um, for me, fighting's a job, and he's the next person they put in front of me, and it is what it is. Uh, the depth chart isn't super deep and there's only so many fighters at the weight class and they did what they can and uh, yeah he's the next guy in line and I got to take him out. Do you think he did enough to deserve the, the rematch so soon after your last fight? I mean I think he could have done more but it we're just we have the cards that we have and that's the way they have to deal them and it is what it is and for me like I said I treat it like a job and it's the next guy they put in front of me and my, my only job is to put on a performance and go out there and get a win. But, you know, after how the last fight ended, obviously the tensions was high, emotions were high. You seem to come down like relatively soon after. But are you bringing any of that like into the fight? Because obviously, I think it would seem like he would bring, you know, the, the emotions and the, the situation that happened at the end. Or is that just in the past? Is it just in the end? For me, man, it was in the past. Uh, I don't really hold anything. I don't like them, but sure. you don't have to like everybody you work with. And good thing we get to fight each other. You know, and you let those emotions out. But for me. It's, I don't really think too much about it. Um, it is what it is. We had some emotional moments the last time we fought. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to fight him again and beat him up. And last one for me, um, he said something like, he doesn't think that you're one of the guys that uh, is constantly evolving or who's not trying to constantly evolve in the gym. Do you think he's just saying that to build a fight or does he like, truly believe that you're someone that's just always the same every time? Uh, honestly, I don't know what he thinks. I don't really care. Um, I know what I'm doing in the gym each and every day. And I'm definitely evolving. I'm fighting. I'm training with the best guys in the world. And uh, I mean, I travel gyms and I and I train with guys in my weight class that have fought for other titles, like in the UFC. And I'm I'm truly trying to evolve each and every day. And I don't care what other people think or what they think I'm trying to do. John, how are you feeling after that war that you had right in this city with Infocasagani? I feel pretty good, man. You know, sometimes you got to bring that dog out and. That night I had to bring that dog out. I made, I made a bad decision in the second round and all I had to do was circle out, but I decided to try to throw down and bang with him. Um, definitely learned a little bit uh, from that fight, but yeah, man, um, I just know in my DNA, there's, there's nothing else uh, that I can do when I'm in a, put in a corner like that. And um, I just fight my weight out of things. Yeah, amazing. Now you know like, when you have to dig deep, you know how deep you can actually dig, right? Yeah, bro, I'll, I'll dig deep until I die, so. That's that's the only that's the only mode I know. Uh, nothing else. Man, absolutely awesome. Now Missouri wrestling. Now I've talked to some other people like Pat Militich, and they were saying that wrestlers are so good from that area of the world because there's nothing else to do. Do you think that's an accurate assessment? That's very true. Uh, the sun the sun only shines for a certain amount of time, and when the sun when the sun's down and it's cold and there's nothing else to do, you you end up uh, doing a lot of things inside. And wrestling ha happens to be a, a indoor sport. And it uh, happens to be around that winter time. So um, much of my childhood was uh, being stuck in a, in a wrestling gym, competing constantly every day. Uh, been doing this since I was four years old. So uh, I know nothing else.